Hey coach, thanks for doing this. What was Ryan doing so well uh, in, in uh, your guys' success against the Jags over the weekend? Yeah, I think he just, you know, really executed the plan well, Buck. I mean, you know, one thing we talk about as a unit is, uh, you know, it takes all 11 on every play. And, you know, when, when 10 other guys do their job well, then it enables the quarterback to be able to do his job. So, um, he certainly was able to execute and, and do a good job doing that. Uh, Eric? Hey, Pat. Uh, as a quarterback's coach, I'm just curious what impresses you most about that throw uh, by Ryan to Humphreys. Is it the ability to sort of absorb the hit? Uh, is it the throw itself? Is it the determination to pull, you know, the trigger on a tough throw? What, what impresses you most about that play? Well, wow, everything you just said. You know, you really hit it on the head there. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, something you are you can't really learn is uh, to have a ton of courage. And one thing, obviously, the physical part of making the throw and, and understanding what part of the field that ball needs to be placed and what type of trajectory uh, it needs to be is, is you know, we kind of talk about standing, looking down the barrel of a gun, you know, and throwing the ball. Um and, and taking one for the team, so to speak. And Ryan's done that continuously since he's, he's been a starter here, and um, we certainly appreciate that. Uh, Jim? Hey, Pat. I, I'm going to follow up one on Humphreys. I mean, I, I, you hear a lot about him just quarterbacks knowing where he's supposed to be and, and being in the right spot. I mean, how, how valuable is it to a team to have a, a guy like that for Ryan to throw to? Yeah, you know, it's – there's value in, in all of our receivers. They all, they're all a little bit different. And I think that's a good thing. They all have different qualities and certainly Adams helped us quite a bit, you know, um, working on the inside part of the field. And now like you see him starting to catch balls further down the field too, like uh, the previous question on the touchdown. So uh, Adams he's capable of doing a lot of things, not just working out of the slot. You know, he's capable of, of doing a lot of different things. He's been really good for us, really come in ready to roll, and uh, that's been good. And, and a follow-up for me, I, do you get as much time with, with the quarterbacks this year as you maybe have previous years because of the COVID restrictions or guys doing some things more on their own? And I guess oh, I'm no. basing that off of, I guess, the – they're not able to be in the in the building on Mondays. I mean, are they having to do more stuff on their own because of the restrictions back to normal? It's about the same because uh, one thing about the quarterback position is you you do put in a lot of your own time into it. You know, you have to. And uh, with you know technology, it's a lot easier to do that these days too. So um, we don't lose a whole lot of time with those guys. Um, we find ways to do it. We socially distant in our meeting rooms and uh, we're still able to kind of achieve what we need to get done. Uh, Terry? Pat, do you notice anything different uh, in the way Ryan is approaching things or the way he plays from his, from his time in Miami? Because it just seems like that since he's gotten here, he's been such a good fit for what you guys are trying to do. Can you talk about that a little bit? You know, I don't really know exactly, you know, what happened in Miami or what that situation was. I just know that, you know, since he's been here, um, you know, he puts in the time. He's a decisive player in the passing game. Um, uh, he understands what we're trying to accomplish. He's a good relationship within our organization with coaches and the players. Um, he's tough. Um, and he's the same guy every day. You know, I appreciate that about him. You know, you know what you're going to get every day from him on and off the field, and I think that's important as a leader. And as part of that leadership, can you talk a little bit about him, his decisiveness? Because it seems like he he knows when and where he wants to go with the football almost on every play. Yeah, I think a lot of good communication between him and the receivers. Um, he spends a lot of time with those guys and you know, having those conversations, you know, Hey, this is what I'm thinking. What are you thinking on this play? Hey, this is the trajectory I'm going to put on the ball. This is the window I'm going to throw to you. Uh, make sure you're there, you know, make sure you're at your proper depth. Like these are all conversations that happen uh, with him and the receivers and, and uh, you know, they have a good, good rapport 
and uh, you know Arthur does a great job of coordinating it all. Uh, Teron? Yeah, Coach Pat. One of the things that's standing out is is the ball distribution. You know, throughout these first two games, what are your thoughts on why that's happening and what's making it so uh, evenly uh, distributed to to all the guys? Yeah, it just just kind of works out that way. I think you know you have. Uh, like we talked about earlier, you have a lot of guys on our offense that can make plays, and they all have different skill sets. And I think Arthur does a really good job of uh, understanding that and calling the game to uh, take advantage of the tools that you do have. And then when you look at Janu Smith and, and Tannehill, six red zone TDs, three of them have gone to Janu Smith. Is there anything you're picking up as far as that connection there in the red zone? What's behind that? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, John is a great player. <laughs> and he just keeps improving, you know. He just keeps improving. And, uh, you know, sometimes John is not primary on that read. It might be a second or third read, but it ends up getting the ball anyways. And I think, you know, we talk a lot about trust between quarterbacks and receivers. And, and yeah. I think there's a lot of trust there, you know, and, when you have rapport and trust and you understand, you know, body language and, and where, what people are trying to do and accomplish in, in, on a route, um, it really helps. And, uh, you know, John is just a very good football player. We're, we're glad he's here. Thank you. Uh, John? Hey, Pat. Um, we've seen uh, Orion and, and you guys have a lot of success in, you know, two-minute situations, end, end of game or end of half. Uh, a lot of times, Ryan will say, you know, we, we work on that an awful lot in, in practice. Um, in your experience, you've been with a few teams. Do, do you guys do more of those kind of situational drills, perhaps, um, than, than with other teams? Uh, you know, it, it really seems to be, I guess, drilled into them pretty well at this point. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's a, it's a part of the game, right? You have normal downs. You have third downs. You have red zone. Um, you have two minutes. It's it's something that's a part of the game, and it, it happens every time you play, right? End of half, end of game. So uh, it's just another facet of the game that you have to prepare for. Uh, Coach Frable and and, uh, and Arthur do a good job of of making sure that there's time to do that throughout the week, and uh, I think the players believe in it, and there's a confidence level that uh, you know they're going to score. So I think all those things tie together. Yeah, and I guess along those lines, what's most important for, for any QB and, and, you know, what is Ryan doing especially well in, in those kind of situations, do you think? Well, I just think there's a comfort level <clears throat> in what we're trying to get accomplished and the receivers knowing what they're doing so they can play fast and aggressive. And I think there's a real confidence level that uh, almost looking forward to that opportunity to get into a – you know, a two-minute situation that you described. Um, and it's fun. You know, I guess think it's fun. So um, I think all those things tie it together. Thanks. Uh, Paul? Hey, Pat. Um, guys always talk about – quarterbacks always talk about, uh, you know, the need to be willing to stand in and take the shot and, and deliver. I'm sorry if you talked about it. Ryan obviously did that on, on the ball to Humphreys. Um, can can you tell us a little bit about the mentality it takes to be willing to stand in there and take that shot? Obviously, it's a necessary part of the game, but saying it and doing it are two different things. Yeah, Paul, it's courage. You know, I think a, a trait of, you know, great great players and great quarterbacks is they have to have courage. You know, there's there comes a time where you have to take one for the team, you know. And, uh, you know, we kind of joke around, you're kind of staring down the barrel of a gun you know, a guy running straight at you and your, your eyes are on your target. And, uh, you know, you're going to take one for the team. And, you know, it's just one of those, you pick your moments to do that. And uh, certainly Ryan has, has a lot of courage when it comes to those situations. A lot easier to keep doing it or uh, a lot less likely to, lot, a lot less Un unlikely as a lot more unlikely you become gun shy doing it when you're throwing a touchdown pass when it happens. Well, that's the best thing in the world, right? You, 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 you lay that thing up there and, and you drop it in there perfectly. Like, like Ryan did to Adam and you take one for the team and, and it hurts so good, you know? Um, and you feel good about that, that uh, uh, there was, 
there was an outcome that was positive for your your pain. <laughs> Thanks. Luke, I saw you just jumped in. Did you have one? I'll go more, Robbie. Sure. Uh, uh, Pat, have you seen guys in your time who've, who've taken those kind of hits and, and without having the success become, you know, lost, lost that courage? Um, not really. You know, I don't really focus on those kind of things, Paul. Um, I think every quarterback that's played long enough uh, has had to do it. And uh, like I said, there's, there's times to take that and there's times to not do that. And uh, it's just part of quarterbacking. All of us have a little scar right here under our chin. It's called a quarterback scar. And if you play long enough, you end up having one. So it's kind of a badge of honor. <laughs> Appreciate it very much. Hey, Pat, I just wanted to ask about, like, the development of a, of a quarterback and knowing when you can turn a game over to him. I mean, is, is that something that you guys, like, talk about during a game before a season? You say, hey, he, he's ready, like, when we need him to just take this thing over, he, he can do it. Well, I'm not exactly sure what you're asking me, but I think you kind of you, – you gain trust in, in a player based on – how they are every day in practice, how they are, they are every day um, in the meeting room, you know, what type of teammate they are. And then you start, uh, when they do get on the field, you, you kind of gain a certain idea of, of how they operate. And I think when you get comfortable with that and how a player operates, regardless of what position it is, then you gain trust in your teammates and you gain trust from the coaches. And then when you're able to do that, you're able to kind of play a little freer and, and get a little more rope to, to go out and, and make it happen. How pleased are you with uh, Ryan's ball security to this point, not just quarterback center exchange, but under pressure and also uh, decision-making? I, I can't recall one that was really in jeopardy through two games. Well, I'm knocking on wood, all right? I'm knocking on wood right now. So, um, no, I mean, the ball security has been good. We work on it almost every day on ball security drills. You guys are at practice, like, that's part of our – routine um and ryan certainly does has done a good job of that um you know and we'll hopefully continue to uh to make sure we take care of the ball from our position uh john yeah pat one one other one for you um one thing we haven't seen ryan do a lot of so far is uh you know the the deep downfield shots uh, is that necessary to, to balance things as you go forward, or do you figure, hey, we're scoring 30 points, uh, you know, we're, we're doing pretty well as, as is? I think every game is different, you know. Every plan is different, different opponents, different players that you're playing against, different situations. Um, you know, sometimes those will happen. Sometimes they won't. You find ways to win the surest way, and it doesn't always involve – everything so uh you know it's a part of our offense and you know they'll happen when they happen